Hello everyone, welcome to Off. Off is... I don't know. I, I don't know what Off is, but we'll get to that in a minute. It's made by Mortis Ghost and the Unproductive Fun Time team. I want to thank viewer Spectre Von Baron for suggesting this to me. It's So it originally came out in French, but it's been translated to English by some fans. Thankfully, because now it means I can actually experience this game because, well, I don't know French. It is completely free. Link to where you can play it for yourself and check it out will be in the description. So, coming back to what this game is... I, one thing I do know about it is that it's extraordinarily strange. I, I think trying to pigeonhole this game and put it into a genre sort of box, like this is an RPG or this is an adventure game, probably would be a mistake. Because I, I just don't know what it is, and I'm not going to waste time trying to fit it into a box. Let's just experience it and, I guess, figure out what it is as we go, because I have no idea. Trust, trust me, this is going to be very strange. From what little I've seen of it, it is so strange. Which is awesome, because I love strange things. And, as always, I like to think about and analyze the games that I play, so I will probably be analyzing it as I go through and towards the end as well. And I think that's all there is to mention. Let's get going. New game. Okay. If this text is hard to read, please exit the game and install the font files. Mm -hmm. So this game has a bunch of custom fonts, which I have installed, so everything should be good to go. I'm good. Caution, it is possible that certain scenes in this game are shocking to an unwarned public. Or maybe not. Yeah, I don't know what that means. I really don't know what to expect. But that's probably a sign of things to come about this game's strangeness. Musical pieces and sound effects are of off, created by Elias Conrad. Coldwood are an important part of the game. It would be a shame to play without them. Indeed, it would. Unproductive fun time. Enter your name. Alright, this game does not have mouse support, so I have to do everything agonizingly slow by keyboard. It's okay, though. Not a big deal. So, I'm going to call my... S oh, crap. I didn't... I didn't mean to do that. How do I delete? Uh... Oh, there we go. I'm gonna call myself... Sam? Your name is Sam, correct? Mm-hmm. And normally I, play, normally I play a male character, so I'm trying to change things up lately, and I'm going to go with a girl. Alright. Welcome, Sam. Thank you. You have been assigned to a being called the Batter. The Batter has an important mission. Be sure that it's accomplished. We will let you out in Zone Zero. Good luck. For more information, find the one called the Judge. To move my body, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. To interact with the environment, use the space bar or the enter key. Mm -hmm. So, here we go. I am Sam. I am the Batter. And apparently I have an important mission, even though I don't know what it is. And I need to find the Judge. Also, I have no idea where I'm at. Some sort of a strange sea of squiggly lines and yellow. Also, it's completely silent. Zone Zero. <laughs> there, there cannot be any other living beings in Zone Zero, so I must assume that you are only a mere figment of my imagination. Says the cat that had a very cute purring noise but looks like its teeth are so sharp that it could bite off my head? I would pet you, but I think you might just bite off my arm. <laughs> that thing is kinda cute and kinda creepy. Nevertheless, I will introduce myself. I am the judge, and I am aching to know your name. Dear Elisori El Interlocutor? What? I don't know what either of those words mean. 
I'm the batter. I've been assigned to a sacred mission. It is a pleasure. However, it is not the puppet I was addressing, but the puppeteer controlling it. What is your name, dear puppeteer? Is it? Is the judge breaking the fourth wall and asking me directly? Her, her name is Sam. She can't talk to us. <laughs> yep. This game is strange. Right off the bat. The game is openly recognizing you and your character as two separate things. However, she can hear and see everything. Even though you two are but an inexistent apparition in my eyes, let it be said that I am delighted to meet you as well, dear Sam. I believe we're in need of your services. Many people are in need of my services, you know. Everybody loves cats. You know, that is quite true. Except maybe people with cat allergies. Even some of them love cats despite that. But yes, cats are awesome. We rub ourselves against their legs and purr in the most insistent manner. They adore that. I'm not talking about that kind of help. I see. But what sort of service could I offer to an ectoplasmic entity? I have a sacred mission to fulfill. I must purify the world. There is no objective more laudable than yours. I accept to serve you as a guide through this area. If it is of any help to you. Thanks. I guess we'll follow the judge. Who is a cat. But before I go through that doorway, what's over here? It's impossible to get around this obstacle. Oh. Uh. What? Quite peculiar. You took the words out of my mouth. Four four eight two eight seven C zero. What is? I don't even. They're so pixely. I'm not even exactly sure what they're supposed to be. I know at least the most of them are numerals. The bottom one looks like a C. Hmm. Let's just go up the ladder. Allow me to confess that I find you quite tangible for a phantasmagorial being. Might you in fact be a creature of flesh and blood? I think so, yes. So I have been mistaken from the beginning. You did not even interrupt me in, in my deluded phantasms. This is relatively bizarre, I must say, for you are the first living being I was given a chance to encounter in this loo. What, what is that? L-I-E-U? Very interesting vocabulary this game has. I had in fact concluded that Zone Zero was an empty land. Obviously I was misled. However, there exists other zones. And in those territories, the risk of hostile individuals attacking you in the most violent manner is quite high. Your sacred mission will likely lead you into these lands. Would you like me to teach you the art of violent confrontation? Combat tutorial. I have never played, so yes please. And this here is the battle screen. As you can observe, you will find yourself placed at the right-hand side of the screen. Your opponent, however, in this case yours truly, will be located on the left, the correct place for a single combat. At the beginning of combat, you will be confronted with a choice. You have to decide whether to attack, auto, or flee. Attack naturally permits you to engage the fight in the classical fashion. If auto is your decision, the computer will make these strategic choices in your place, making you simply the spectator. Finally, flee, as this name indicates, is the option of the coward. I dehort this alternative. Dehort? I'm gonna have to make a list of words to look up after playing this game. I'm writing this down. Dehort. That's a new one. But now it is time for the offense. Choose attack. Select the batter, then choose attack. A new to off me with your bat. Do not utilize the auto function. The computer will not hold back, and I would take the risk of dying, taking my secrets with me to the grave. 
I almost want to do auto just to see what would happen, but no. No, no, no. Well, I am the batter, and I'm apparently going to hit him with my baseball bat. Let's see, I have 120. I have 120 hit points. My CP is 43. I have no idea what that means. And I'm pure. Whatever that means. Okay, let's attack. Um, just press space again. Oh. Attack. Oh, I see. Excellent, dear sport of companion. You must consider the fact that the batters and the enemy's levels determine the impact of your assaults. It is possible that you or your adversaries could avoid the barrage of attacks that you will throw at each other with, with slyness. On occasion, your cast iron will get... Wait. Your, your cast iron will get you a critical hit, which will cause teeth to fly in heaps. Your cast iron... My... My what? I thought I had a bat. Is it made out of iron? Aren't they usually made out of wood? Or maybe even aluminum? I don't know. But let us move on. If you are willing to, you may have noticed that when you chose attack for the first time, after you selected the batter, a new window opened itself at the lower right-hand side of the screen. There you have the choice between four new options. Attack leads to a soul strike against a likewise soul adversary. A competence permits you to use one of your special skills. Objects will grant you access to the items you are currently carrying. Finally, you have, yet again, the opportunity to flee, but remember, solely the batter is responsible for that option in his personal menu. How about trying to utilize an object? Take this luck ticket and use it on the batter's person with gratitude. A luck ticket has been found. That looked very painful, I guess that was my attack. Okay, so it looks like here I'm selecting who I want to attack with, so obviously myself. Then use an object. Recovers a moderate amount of HP, my luck ticket. And then... Then what? Oh, I, I choose what I want to use it on, which would be myself. Got it. Impeccable. Your mastery of battle borders on brilliancy, my dear. But there is one thing we have not yet addressed. I'm of course talking about competences. They are generally, in layman's terms, special moves. They can trigger surprising effects. They may induce a resurgence of health points, or may be, in and of themselves, powerful attacks. Nevertheless, know this. Any use of competences leads to a consumption of competence points, CP. Oh, that's what that is. So I ask that you use these skills sparingly. Once your CP are completely consumed, it will be impossible to carry out heavy assaults. And if you happen to cross swords with a tougher opponent before being able to get some more CP, victory will be uncertain. But try it right away. Choose competence and try using the wide angle which will allow you to analyze your enemy. Okay, myself, competence, wide angle, the judge, an odd appearing cryptic cat, Three, 300 hit points and 30 CP. No weaknesses and no resistances. I just love the, like, broken English of its description. It's perfect. It's, it somehow perfectly suits it. An odd-appearing cryptic cat. I, I think it'd probably be more accurately, or probably better stated as a, a cryptic cat with an odd appearance, but somehow the fact that it, even the description is bizarrely written kind of works. Because it is, well, it is an odd-appearing cat, is it not? So an odd description for an odd cat seems to fit. God, look at that, look at that cat. It's just... It's just relaxing on the ground. With a gigantic, maniacal grin on its face, and just staring at me. Judging me. <laughs> you now know not only all about me, but also about the art of combat. I'm, I'm assuming that was a laugh? I, I don't know. If I read it literally, it's eh, eh, eh. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's not meant to be pronounced eh, eh, eh. I, I think it's a laugh. About the wide angle. Know that its analysis will always be based on the start of the battle. Thus, it may accidentally analyze adversaries you have already knocked out for a long time. 
The confrontation ends, theoretically, when the health points of your team or all of your opponents fall to zero. The health points of your team... Th that bit of text, the health points of your team, coupled with the fact that you have to select who you want to attack with, makes me think you're going to actually get other people to use, or, or other things, other entities with which to fight battles with. Take good care of your health if you want a successful career in purification. From now on, you will be ready to crush all impure obstacles that get in your luminous mission's way. Well, supposing your intelligence is on the same level with your undeniable capability of dealing bat blows to an innocent cat. One can hope. Be it as it may, your training has not reached its end yet. Let me ask you to follow me, if you still want me as your guide. Did, did the cat just, like, float up into the air? I guess it has jet boots. One, two, three, four on the wall. What is that? Quite peculiar, indeed. Quite peculiar, indeed. I think it's a nice day outside. <laughs> amongst all the, f amongst all the strange things that just happened, the normalcy of that just blows my mind. You just go up to a window and. I think it's a nice day outside. Ah, yes. To pass through here, you need to use your cerebral organ. You know, the one bathing flabbily in your tired cranium. I believe those floating blocks correspond to the symbols you can see on the wall in some way or another. Those floating blocks. What, what floating blocks? I, I see blocks. Are they supposed to be floating? I guess they are. Th these? Oh, it's, it is floating. Uh. It's impossible to get around this obstacle. Okay, so I believe it's just referring to what order I should press them in? I mean, are they buttons? Y you go up to it and they turn semi-transparent and they start bobbing up and down. I guess you just do it in the order it shows. One, two, three, and four. Are you proud of my, my use of my cerebral organ? Ah, there's more. Hmm. Is there a problem, my dear... Pictorial heroes. Wait. Wait, what? Is is there a problem, my dear pictorial heroes? Heroes? Oh, right, because we're two people. It's me and me. It's Sam and, and me. Sa Sam and I. I and me, Sam. Wait, what? I am not your... Janitor? I cannot do everything for you. Nonetheless, may I dare to suggest... You wage activating certain ones of these strange floating blocks more than one time, if required. So come, solve this intriguing puzzle for me, and quickly, if you please, I wish to rejoin the ground floor as soon as possible. Press them more than once. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, there's a problem here. There's six numbers, but there's eight blocks. Now, I believe you can brute force this, because I'm pretty sure if you press them out of order, it just... Yeah, it just resets. So, let's see. One... Do I just go from left to right? One... Two... Whoa. That one's not transparent. Do I hit it again? Oh, it's because there's another two. Okay, one, two... Three, four... Five, six... Okay, so I'm going from left to right on the wall and pressing the corresponding one. So next one is eight. And then back to two. Mm-hmm. And then three. Okay, that wasn't so hard. I think it's a nice day outside. Whoa. There's no symbols. <laughs> Finally, after all that exertion, the eagerly awaited... Recompense makes his entrance to the scene. <laughs> it's cat food. 
Wow, the judge is digging into that. How does it taste? Crunch nom nom crunch. <laughs> okay, it's, it's kind of adorable. It's kind of creepy, but it's also kind of adorable. I think it's a nice day outside. Okay, so can I... I can't activate these. But, wait a minute, what's over here? I don't think I'm supposed to leave yet, am I? No, I mean, I think I need to get through here. Okay, there's no... there's no symbols. So, what am I... Okay, apparently this is the first one, but why? And you have to hit it twice. I'm not sure why I'm doing this, though. Twice? Once? And then... Surely this isn't meant to be solved with brute force, right? So what am I missing? What would tell me what order to press these in? Is it corresponding to the numbers that were here before? What else? I mean, what could it be based on? One, two, three, four. I have no idea. I mean, I could brute force it, but I don't really want to. Oh, oh it's yeah, it's got to be this. Okay. Okay, yeah. Let me write these down. Um, four, four, I think that's an eight. Two, eight, seven, and what is the bottom one? What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I, I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's not processing in my brain into a number. It looks like a C. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Right, so four. Yep. And then four. Done. And then eight, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep. This next one. Oops. Four, four, eight. Two. Eight. Seven, and then we have the C, which I, I don't know—is it this one? No, it is that one. So it's supposed to be a ten. The C, something's tickling my brain and telling me that a cert like skin. Hmm. C ten. C ten. Is that Roman... No, no, X is 10 in Roman numerals, right? For some reason, C is somehow barely associated in my mind with 10. Somehow, but I don't remember why. What does C have to do with 10? I don't remember. Hmm, I don't know. Here's an accessory that is going to be especially helpful on your purifying quest. Dear enlightened student and sportive friend. It is a cube hovering in midair, as you have likely noticed. Nevertheless, you will be able to differentiate it from similar ones. By the contrast of bad taste, it imposes on your view of its clashing color. Defying any sensible course of plastic arts. However, do not judge it too quickly, because despite its... criticizable appearance, this red cube is of undeniable use. Aside from rendering you the entirety of your health and competence points, it is capable of saving your progress and sending you to the nothingness. The nothingness is a lieu of... Is, is a lieu of transition outside of space itself, where you can travel from one point to another at the speed of light. I now invite you to try it out, in order to discover location, locations more populous than this deserted land. Open your wings, my dear companion, and hurry away towards the following zones without hesitation. Your only enemy is the fear that will grab you. Okay. 
Do not worry, I too travel a lot through the different zones of the world. We will newly meet one another eventually without a doubt. Ah, by the by, take this. This object of a curious name will be the key that permits you to enter Zone 1. Have I clarified that you can at any time consult your inventory and characteristics by pressing the escape key? The Leo card has been found. Why, thank you, the judge. Let's check it. Okay, I am... I am a purifier. I am level 2. I am pure, whatever that means. Apparently I'm hurt because I have 120 of 171 hit points. I think it's... I think it's my... I'm assuming it's my XP that it's at 736 out of 2007 needed for level 3, maybe? Then 43 out of 49 competency points. I guess that's a list of my competencies, which at the moment only includes wide angle. Hmm. My defensive item is my Herald Bat. Permits access to Zone 1, Leo card. Let's go. Health points and competence points completely restored. Save game. Let's save. I guess return to the nothingness? Wait, what does that do? No, that, that, that's how I travel, right? It sounds like it's going to return me to the menu, but... Go ahead. I'm inviting you to try using the floating cube right behind you. I guess that's travel? Oh, it... whoa. It is. Um... World map... Ex, uh, question mark. What? It's a weird whispers here. Where am I? What is this? It's impossible to enter. You need the adi the adequate zodiac card. So this is where you travel between zones. But how do I? Oh, the are these the different zones? These red things? Oh, they must be. So, which what zones are these? See, it says zone in the top right, and I think it might say what zone it is a little bit more to the right, but the problem is my recording software has a an FPS counter in the top right, and it's covering it up. So I'm not exactly sure what it says in the top right. I just see that it says zone, but I'm not sure if it says zone 1, zone 0, or, or what. But it's easy enough to figure out. Zone 1, yes. It's green. There's the cube again. So I guess you can't save at any time. No, I guess you have to go to those those cubes to save. That's a strange sign. Is is it mirrored or is it upside down? Um The problem is I can't like read upside down. I need to I need to turn my head upside down. No, that doesn't work. What the I think it's mirrored. How do you un... How do I unmirror something? In my mind. Like, how do you read something that's mirrored? I've tried to do it before and it's extremely difficult. N Ness. I'm gonna write it. I'm... I'm not sure what that is. I don't think I did that right. Hmm. Anyway, 
Hello? That sounded like a zombie. What was that noise? Train number one is a really useful means of transport to get about zone one. What's wrong with your face? It looks like his eyes, his... Like his face has melted down. And his, his features have just slid towards the bottom of his face. Also, he has no nose. Thank you, sir. Please select your destination. Damien? What? What is Damien? Looks like that's the only place I can go. To Damien we go. Zone 1. Damien. Okay. I'm just, I'm trying to compare this sign to the last one. Hold on, maybe this will tell me the name of the other place. Elson. That's what it was? Elson. It was, it was backwards. Wait. Wait, what? The, the other, the other one's sign was backwards. I'm confused. I'm gonna stop thinking about it. It's making my brain hurt. You look just like the last person. You also look like a zombie. Train number two hasn't been active for a long time. Oh my god, they're all like zombies. Um, uh, a visitor? I, uh, welcome to the smoke mines. Uh, may I know who you are? Are you an inspector? No, I'm the batter. I've come to exterminate the impure spirits. The batter, the impure spirits? Are you some sort of prophet? Or perhaps a man of belief? Yeah, something like that. I, who sent you? Nobody. I'm being led by Sam. Well, see, that's the thing. When I created the character name, I thought it was... I, I thought it was actually creating a character, but apparently I was just naming myself. Which is not usually how it goes, so now I'm, I'm being called Sam, but... Okay, I'll roll with it. Ah, I don't know her. She must be a member of the superior personnel. In any case, that's good. It means our requests have been acknowledged. Here, I'm going to explain your task. My what? What is this? Um, you're at the smoke mines of Damien, the southern part of Zone 1. Here we send workers into deep tunnels to unearth metal from the ground, freeing embedded smoke that was trapped in the depths. Thanks to a variety of tools, we are able to put some of it into bottles, which the Queen sends to the other zones. The Queen? Who's the Queen? The rest of it flows free, forming the air that our lungs inhale and exhale, uh, so we can live. Are you sure you're alive? You look like a zombie. As the first of four elements, it's an important element. Because without smoke, people would have nothing to breathe. Okay, let me let me wrap my head around this. So, <laughs> there's only four elements, one of which is smoke, and smoke is used to breathe. Okay, I accept that. Uh, there we are. And so, finally, uh, how do I put this? Where are the impures? Uh, yes, there we go. There are many specters in the mines. They're becoming more and more aggressive. But, uh, in fact, it would be better if you didn't enter the mines, because... 
because the regulations forbid visitors to access them. So, uh, here's what we're going to do. There's an annex tunnel that nobody ever goes to. But a miner went in there some time ago. And he saw something strange, he said. Nothing like the usual. So I thought, maybe it's the Chief of the Spectres. Uh, so, there's your task. If you accept, you'll go into the Annex Tunnel and kill the Chief of the Spectres. Then the Spectres will disappear and we can work properly again. There we go. There we... Uh, do you have any questions? <laughs> these... These miners are... Strange. It's like they don't know how to talk properly. Like they're not used to it. As if I'm the first person they've talked to in years. No. Ah, great. Impeccable. You know what it actually sounds like, that weird sound? It sounds like they're gasping for breath. Like they can't breathe, like... <gasps> like they're... I don't know. Trying to breathe smoke in, because apparently that's what they breathe. The tunnel's right down there. Oh, wait, here. Do I have to go down right now? I do. All outside visitors are prohibited to access the smoke mines. They, they mine smoke, and they bottle it. They bottle smoke. That is so strange. Hi. You look, um, purple. Or rather... Your building looks purple. Also, your building seems to be extraordinarily high. Soon, I'll be promoted. I'll be a supervisor in Alma. I'm anxious for that day to arrive. Well, I wish you the best. A luck ticket has been found. Ooh, I thought I'd find something. So that means... Uh, I think it's the only item I have, right? Because I already used up my other luck ticket. Yeah. So I guess this game has RPG elements, because you do have levels and hit points and items and whatnot. But it also seems kind of like an adventure game. Uh, Judge? What are you, what are you doing here? Well, well, who do we have here? Is that not Sam and her picturesque jumping jack, the batter? Are you the Spectre's leader? <laughs> no, no, certainly not. I am only passing through, not unlike the smoke which is being extracted from this pale and metallic place. However, I believe I know where the one you are taking for an ectoplasm can be found. Uh, to tell the truth, I am perplexed. I think it is one of those peculiar objects called a spherical add-on. I have very well tried to approach it, but the operation has failed systematically so far. But I am thinking, maybe you, one who does not have a physical order, will succeed in affiliating this spiritual entity to yours. Maybe? Add-on Alpha has joined you. Add-on Alpha joined me. I guess I succeeded in, in affiliating it with me. You have been affiliated. What an exceptionally intriguing phenomenon. I must admit that I remain perplexed by this unexpected metaphysical reaction. Fair enough. Since it has decided to accompany you, I know only to advise you to make the best usage possible of it. Got it. The Chief of the Spectres isn't here. Sorry, but I fear I have to respond to the negative. Apart from this add-on, I have not crossed the way of a single soul in this loo. Is it actually pronounced Lou? I'm going to write that one down and also look it up. I hope it is actually pronounced Lou, because otherwise... I imagine there's a lot of people from the UK that are probably laughing every time I say that because they're thinking of the bathroom. Because that's another term for it. The Lou. I'm going to pop to the Lou. God, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Okay, so... Hmm. Let me see if I can see this thing. Oh! Yeah, it's another person. Or another, another entity, I should say. 100 hit points, 47 CP. And it is pure. What about its items? Or what about its competence? None. Let 
competency. Its offensive item is an audacious symbol. <laughs> audacious. <laughs> um, hi. Ah, you're back. So, have you killed the, uh, the chief of the specters? No. He wasn't there. Oh, oh. Really, I... Bugger, crap. I, well, then, uh... I believe that I'll have to let you enter into the main gorges then. But, uh, the regulations oppose it. Alright. I suppose this is a very special case, as stated in paragraph 5. So, uh, good. Well, the main mines are on the right. There. Thank you. This geometry is so strange. It's just, there's something about the way it's the way it's shaded that just makes it very hard to me hard for me to tell what is where and what is what. Like my my sense of spatial awareness is not very high in this place. There are phantoms down there. They keep us from working properly. But now it's break time for me anyways. <laughs> hey, there's phantoms down there, but I'm taking my lunch break. So, you know, I'll just push it out of my mind. I'll deal with the phantoms later. What are you doing here? Are you the mine inspector? Nope. Is there anything over here? I'm looking for secrets. Secrets? 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 No secrets. What about you? You mysterious floating block. What are you doing out there in the sea of squiggly lines? What are you doing there? You've come to eliminate the specters? That's good news. The lamps don't always work in the endmost corridors. And since everything looks the same around here, it's easy to get lost. There are phantoms in every corridor. Be careful, mister. And besides, who has let you enter? Normally the regulations prohibit external visitors. Indeed. But he made an exception. Okay. I think I'm going to have my first fight here. Show yourselves, corrupted children. I'm the voice of forgiveness that'll eliminate your calamitous forms. Remember when I just said show yourselves? Can you forget that I said that and just and then, then I could just walk away calmly? No? We have to fight? Okay. Prepare yourselves to suffer my judgment. Here we go. <laughs> I love the music. Those things are disturbing looking. Okay. Um, hmm. So, are they one unit or are they separate? This music is insane, but I love it. Let's... I could examine them, but, but why? No, I'm just gonna attack. Okay, they are one unit. There we go. Um, how does this work exactly? Okay, now I'm going to attack with the Alpha. Nice one. Ow. Okay, so it's the Alpha that's taking the damage. It might die. Um, hmm. I could recover its health, which I'm going to do. Let's heal it. There we go. Healed it to full. Ow. Looks like I have to... I think I have to wait a second. Defend. Defend. I'm really honestly not exactly sure how this works. Oh god! Wait, this is real time? I... 
I don't even know what's going on. Attack, I guess. Defend? I don't know what that does. Defend, sure. Okay, I guess those bars are just how long I have to wait until their next turn. Until they can go again. Okay, they are individual. Hmm. Uh, defend. I think the alpha might die because of my incompetence. Okay. A lot of them are killed, though. What does defend do? I'm going to defend again. I'm not exactly sure what it does, but I'm going to keep doing it. Okay, two more. Two more. We should be okay. I think the alpha's going to live. The alpha might even make it to beta. Come on, alpha. We're going to make it to beta. I swear we're going to make it to beta. You're going to be okay. You're going to make it. You're going to get on early access and everything. You're going to be good. Ah. Adversaries purified. 400 experience points gained. 80 credits received. Luck ticket received. Luck ticket received. Luck ticket received. Luck ticket received? I guess I got four. I'm rolling in the tickets. This add-on is fighting by my side. That's practical. Let's purify the other galleries. Um... Let's... Maybe I should heal. Nah, I could just use one of the luck tickets, because I have like four, right? Yeah, for some reason I assumed the combat was turn-based, but apparently it's not, really. Yeah, I've got four of those, I'm good. Actually, can I use it now? I can. There we go. I guess it just restores you to full? Actually, it just says recovers a moderate amount. But I guess we're so low level that a moderate amount is full. What's in my chest? The yellow blocks don't allow you to return to the nothingness. Oh, so I guess they're like in dungeon save points? That's neat. Oh, I, well, I just totally wasted my tickets then. Oh, God. I shouldn't have used them because I just restored everything. Eh, it'll be fine. I can't go through there, so this way. Any more specters? A joker has been found. A joker? Revives a person. Ooh, excellent. Oh, oh, Jesus Christ, what are those things? Uh, time to attack. What the fuck are those things? Okay, uh, competence, and let's use wide angle. Magnolia, a severed head floating in the air. 30 hit points. Light weakness against... <laughs> what? Light weakness against meat. What? The floating heads have weakness against meat. I, I don't even know what to do with this information, but okay. Did that do any damage at all? It didn't really look like it did any damage. Oh, that one... Hmm, okay. Yeah, it, it, I don't see any... It doesn't seem to be hurting. That one hurts, but my own bat doesn't. Adversary is purified. 300 experience gain, 60 credits received. Cool. I think I better go heal again. Wait, where'd I come from? It was up here, right? Yes. Right, so at the moment, my competences are basically useless. 
it, it gives you information, but it doesn't really allow me to do anything with that information, though, because I can't... Like, I don't have any special items to exploit these weaknesses. Like, you know, they have a weakness to meat. Well, I don't have any meat. So... Oh, hey, what are you doing? It's not safe down here. I... I'm working. I'm being productive. Uh... Okay. Okay. Whatever you say. Yep. Oh! Something new! A deck. First thing, figure out what the hell this is. J it it's Jan it's January. I'm fighting January? Okay. Um ghoul ghoul with a dusty breath. 90 hit points, light weakness against metal. Well it seems my bat is made out of iron, so I guess that'll work. 50 swell. That did a lot of damage. That did a moderate amount. I don't think it was easy. Alpha level 2 achieved. Ooh. Saturated chain has been acquired. What is that? Is that... a competence? I almost want to go back to that... to that restore your health point every single time, but that's kind of cheap, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's a competence. Special attack of low impact. So, what does it do? A low impact attack, what? Hmm. I guess we'll have to use it and find out. Where did I just come up? What? what Did you come from the smoke mines? Yes. But, but, but there are loads of specters down there. Yes. Are you a specter? No. Then who are you? Have you been sent by the Queen? Or by Deaden? No. But, 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 you still know how to fight the specters? You, you could destroy them? Yes. Oh, that, that would be great. We, we have, uh, specters in our big barns. Barns? Uh, y yes. Um, you're at the metal farmsteads of Pentel, the eastern part of Zone 1. Our work consists of cutting livestock in two and extracting the metallic boulders that were contained in the cadavers. I'm sorry, what? Let me read that again. Our work consists of cutting livestock in two and extracting the metallic boulders that were contained in the cadavers. Okay. All the poor quality metal is discarded, forming the ground we walk on. The rest gets purified to make tools and other objects with. Some of it is also put into crates, and sent to the other zones, so they have tools and soil as well, I suppose. As the first of four elements, it's an important element. Wait, I, th I thought smoke was the first of four elements. Also, look at this. <laughs> it's, it's showing on... On the livestock, it's like those little those little charts showing you what all the different pieces are, and except there, it's divided into different elements, including zinc. <laughs> because without metal, people would have nothing to walk on; they would sink and drown. There, and thus, we have specters in the large barns. I must purify the mines first. Ah, yes. But the barns aren't that big, and, uh... It would be nice of you to take care of them fast, because the Queen's Inspector is going to arrive at any moment. So, could you please take care of the barns first? Alright. Ah, ah, great! Thanks. Thanks a lot. 
The barns are directly to the right. They aren't big at all. You'll see. It's going to be done quickly. Okay. Right. So apparently we're standing on the discarded metal. And without it, we would drown. So I guess that's those squiggly lines I'm seeing is apparently some sort of liquid. Let's go purify the barns. Is this the barn? These balls are clusters of worked metal, which are going to be sent to other zones. It's, a uh, metallic. So those came from the cadavers of the livestock, I guess? When they cut them in two? <laughs> wow. You're going to destroy the specters. Oh, you're going to destroy the specters? Hurry up, we're expecting the queen's inspector at any moment. Okay, okay, okay. We have to pay close attention to the nutrition of the animals if we want high-quality metal. <laughs> See, normally you worry about, like, grass-fed so you get good meat or something like that. That's usually what people worry about with cattle, with livestock. Not normally the quality of the metal that they produce. Okay, well, I need to go back to the mines, but let's take care of this first. There are slash is five specters left in the barn. Eh, we can take them. Hello. Come here. Oh my god, that thing looks scarier than the rest. Okay, here we go. Let's try our new competence. This isn't the new one, of course, but... Fat Specter. Ominous Ectoplasmic Incarnation. 90 hit points. Light resistance against smoke. Okay, it's resistant against smoke. I don't know how to use that. I don't have anything that's smoke-based. Didn't mean to attack with that. I wanted to use its competence, but that's fine. Okay, here we go. New competence. No, that did quite a bit. And you're gone. Wait a minute, there's something there's something left? Wait, what the f I'm killing the ah uh, ah uh, what? Hold on. What, what is that? Fat Uh there what? I don't, I don't understand. I killed this I'm so confused. Is this bugged? I'm so confused right now. I killed the bubble. But it, when I examined it, it just said it was a fat, a fat specter. Even though it obviously isn't. It's just a like a chat bubble thing. I, I don't even know. Four specters left. Hmm. Let's get one at a time. Oh, hi! I should probably save my confidence points. Eh, there's no reason to. Just beat him into oblivion, I guess. They don't even seem to attack. I, I don't get what that is. Wait, there's an another one. What the hell? That is very strange. Three left. What if I can get them alone? Or do I have to fight both? Oh, there we go. Perfect. And we're back to attacking the chat bubble things. Silver flesh received. Ooh, a new competence. 
two specters left. Let's go check this out before I attack the next one. All right, that's not for me, so it must be for my alpha. No. Um, object? Oh, there it is. Recovers a moderate amount of CP. Okay. Gotcha. So I'm guessing once I level up more, I'm probably going to have an interesting combination of special moves, of competences. But at the moment, I really can't do very much. Ouch. Ooh, I gotta be careful. My alpha actually might die. I'm gonna defend with it. Batter level 3 achieved. Save first to base has been acquired. Excellent. One specter left. Was there a save point back here? There might be, but I think I can do this without that. Alright, so there might be like a boss in the basement. That's what I'm thinking. Restore some HP. Hmm. I wonder if it only works on yourself, or if you can choose who to use it on, so you can restore a teammate. Alright, so one thing I don't get is I'm not entirely sure how the defend thing works. Does that just, like, make you invincible for the turn? For the duration? Or what? Like, is that just something you want to do if you want to avoid dying? Or does it have some other strategic use? I don't know. What is that block on the ground? I'm suspicious. Oh, do I need to... Oh. How do I... Hmm. Okay, this is a puzzle. I can only move one at one time. Hold on, I can move that up and move that to the right, but then that's not going to work. Nope, uh, no. Nope. <sighs> Does this reset when you go back? Did that reset? I think it did. Let me check. Yeah, it resets. Okay, because you. I think you can screw yourself here. I can move that up, and I can move that over to the right, and... Oh! Actually, there you go. Perfect. Hello! Are you a boss? Nope, you're just a normal one. Okay. Alright, let me try my confidence. Oh, I can heal my teammate. Ex oh, shit! It's dead! Hold on. Hold on. Joker. And you're back. Please don't die again. I'm apparently... Oh! Fuck, it's dead again. Is it permanently dead? Can I heal you? No. I should have used a lucky ticket on it. Is it permanently dead? I guess I'm about to find out. Because I'm going to reload my save if it is permanently dead. I don't want it to die. I love it. It's, it's a ring. It's a helpful ring. Oh, die already. Stupid fat ghost. Am I even hurting it? I'm not even sure if I'm hurting it. Oh, there we go. Oh, 
Oh, I might have been missing because I was blinded. One of its special abilities. Silver Flesh received. The barn has been purified. Okay, but what about my, my buddy? Dead. I'm assuming I could revive it if I find one of those items, and maybe when I get to one of those boxes as well. Teleport back to the barn's entrance? Yes. Okay, let's see if... Whoa. Oh, that's the inspector. Just in time. I, 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 I am really... Shut your trap, you poor moron. No, I... Yes. Has he been in there for long? I... I don't know. Of course. You know nothing. I could have guessed. He... He will eliminate the specters. And why does he think he's capable of destroying those stupid phantoms? He thinks he's better than you. Better than the Queen. No, no. I don't think that. Shut it. I haven't asked you anything. You all think you're smarter than everyone else. But you're all the same. At any case, that's hardly important. The ghosts will erase that prig. I, uh, you... You think he won't succeed? Of course not. Nobody here is capable of fighting the phantoms other than the Queen's officers. If you'd only listen to me more often, you wouldn't be in so much shit. But... But then who... Who's going to destroy the phantoms? I could have done it. But you don't deserve it. Too bad for you. You'll just have to take care of your problems yourselves. I... I... No, p Please. I'll be leaving now. I'll be returning to Alma. At least the people there are polite. They ain't constantly trying... Cu they ain't... Ugh, let me try that again. They ain't constantly cutting you off. P please. Don't. Goodbye. Piss off. Don't. No, I... I command you. Get the fuck out of my way this instant if you want to keep your job. Jesus, those things are harsh. Whatever they are. Okay, let me see if I can bring my companion back. Is it... is it back? Okay. Okay, so it's not permanently dead. Got it. Okay. Was that the person? You... you're alive? Yes. And... and the specters? Eradicated. The barn is pure now. That... you... You must be very lucky. Who was that person? That... that was Dedan. He's the Queen's supervisor. You mean Spectre? No. The Queen doesn't employ specters. He can't be one. But he's hostile. I must destroy him. No, no, don't do that. He's an envoy of the Queen. I, I, uh... You had better, compl you had better go complete your work in the smoke mines. Please. Besides, he's in Alma. No one can get there without proper authorization. So please, return to the smoke mines. All right. I shall. But only in the next episode. I'm going to end this one here. Okay, so far I am utterly fascinated by this game. It is incredibly strange. In such a very, well, strange way. Such an interesting way. I just really want to know what the hell am I going to find next. I mean, I just... I just discovered that they cut they cut livestock in half to get at the precious metals inside. That smoke is apparently one of the four elements and is used to breathe and is bottled and mined. I just discovered floating heads that have a weakness to meat. <laughs> this game is amazing. Yeah. Just, wow. Alright, well, I hope you have enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.